Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1201. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we got a great conditional formatting example. We have some products, and then over here are the days. Any day we sell some, we put a number. We want to conditionally format the product name anytime there is nothing entered here. Now, we're going to use this opportunity, this example, to look at five different examples. Now, I probably think the last one or this first one is probably the most straightforward. But in the process of going through these different examples, we'll learn some cool things. Now, we'll start off with the count function. The count function simply counts numbers. So here, it'll get a count of 1, close parentheses, one. Control Enter, and copy it down. So when we get a 0, that indicates that there is no numbers entered for the day. So now with the range still highlighted and the active cell at the top, I'm going to hit F2. F2 puts it in edit mode and slaps the cursor at the end. And now I'm going to say, hey, are you equal to 0? Anytime you use a comparative operator in a formula, it will deliver a logical value, true or false. Now to populate that edited formula all the way down, I'm going to hold Control cool. and Enter. There is a formula, true, false, logical formula, that can trigger our formatting. False don't apply. True, that means I want the format applied. Now, this is just over to the side for us to see how the formula works. We need to copy this formula, Control-C, and now put it into the dialog box for conditional formatting. Now I highlight all the cells, because each cell in memory will get this formula and a true or false triggering either format or no formatting. Home, conditional formatting, and we want new rules. Or we can use the keyboard Alt-H-L-N. Here's our dialog box with the list of different rules we can use. I'm going to click on the last one, Use Formula to determine which cells to format. And down here in this text box, Format values where this formula is true, Control-V. Now I can format it. And you can format it however you'd like. I'm going to put some red and then font white. Click OK. Click OK. And boom, there we have it. As soon as we enter a number here, Two. boom, the formatting goes away. Control Z. Or if I delete one, boom, Control Z. Now, another way we could do this is instead of using a comparative operator equals 0, I'm going to say equals count. And of course, count will count these numbers. Close parentheses, One. Control Enter, and copy it down. Instead of using equals 0, we can note something about logical functions. The logical functions are functions like and, or, if, not. F2 to put it into edit mode. Every single one of these non-zero numbers will be interpreted as true by logical functions. Only the zero will trigger, trigger a false. So I'm simply going to say not. Why not? Not turns a true to false and a false to true. Now check this out. The not function is a logical function. It sees two as true. So it will convert it to a false. It sees 0 as false, so it will convert it to a true. Close parentheses, Control Enter, and boom, there we go. F2, and I'm going to copy this. Control C, Escape, Highlight, Alt H L N, arrow, 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 Tab, Control V, Alt F to get that font box, and then we can put whatever f formatting you'd like. Click OK, click OK, and there we go. Another way we could do it, because sometimes you might have a situation where you have text or a number. So instead, we simply go, and I'm going to highlight all these cells in advance. And the active cell, I simply start typing. Counta, counta counts not empty cells. Close parentheses, and I'm going to say equals 0. Control Enter to populate that logical formula all the way down. And that will work. Again, the idea of doing the formula off to the side is to see if the patterns of trues and falses for your conditional formatting seem to be working. They do. F2, highlight, Control C, escape, Control Shift down arrow, Alt H L N, arrow, 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 tab, Control V, Alt F. 
And now I want to add some formatting. I keep adding that same formatting. Click OK, click OK. And there we go. If we test it, 10. Yeah. And instantly it goes away, Control Z. Now the next example actually came from my class. We did this example in class yesterday in my advanced Excel class. And I asked the students, as I usually do, hey, how should we solve this? And someone said, well, wait a second. Um, if they're all empty, we should try the is blank. And I'm going to start my formula right here. So equals is blank. Hey, in class, I had never even done this. I was like, well, let's just see if this will work. Now, is blank looks and sees if some, a cell is empty. That argument is expecting one single cell. But check this out. We're going to give it a bunch of cells. Close parentheses. And when I hit Enter, I, it looks false. But that's because what we did is a function argument array operation. And that formula can't really calculate without a special keystroke. So because I can't see all those trues and falses in the cell itself, I can highlight it in edit mode and hit the evaluation key, F9. And sure enough, it's doing exactly what we want. There's all the trues, Control-Z. When I Control-Enter, remember, this formula is not working correctly because it's a, an array formula and we haven't entered it yet. But we can copy it down, F2, and highlight this in F9 and check it out. True, true, true. Oh, and there's a false, right? So it looks like internally it's working correctly. Well, watch this. How do we actually get a formula, F9, to tell us true when everything is true? Well, we use the AND function. So A and D, this is another logical function. I simply put it the is blank inside. The is blank will deliver all those trues and falses to the AND, F9, Control-Z. Now, this is a function argument array operation right there. When I hit Enter, oh. it will not work. AND should be delivering a true. But because we didn't enter it with a special keystroke, it didn't give us the right answer. So now we're going to use the special keystroke to tell Excel we're doing an array formula. Hold Control Shift and Enter. True. Now we see that the function's working. It delivers a true. But we immediately need to look up to the formula bar. And those curly brackets are Excel telling you that it understood that this was an array formula. Now I'm going to copy this down. And I'm going to copy it up. Now, the cool thing about array formulas, and if you click in the top cell, you can see those curly brackets are still there, is that when we put it into the dialog box for conditional formatting, we don't have to use any special keystrokes. The conditional formatting dialog box will automatically understand. Control C, Escape, highlight all the way down, Alt H L N, arrow, 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 tab, Control V. Alt F to open up the formatting. Font color white, fill color red. Click OK, click OK. And it looks like it's working. When I type 4, instantly it's working. Control Z. Actually, the person in the classes who came up with this formula was named Jenny. So we'll call this the Jenny method. Hey, one last method here. And let's just go back to the count and how logical functions or dialog boxes that expect trues or falses actually work. If I highlight this, remember, count is counting numbers. Control Enter, copy it down. Any formula or dialog box will interpret 0 as false and any non-zero number as true. So guess what? This is actually a pattern of falses and trues, right? But actually, if we were to put this right into the dialog box, that 1 would mean that cell would get the formatting. So watch this. If we actually pre-format everything to look like the product doesn't have anything entered, now we can use this, Control-C, Escape, to trigger uh, the blue and black formatting. Alt-H-L-N, arrow, 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 tab, Control-V. And now we want to go to Formatting. And I'm going to select that blue and say Bold Black. Actually, I don't think we need Bold, but that's OK. So we click OK. There's that formatting that will be applied when there is something. Click OK. And no way, that is working. Now if I come here and type 
five, five. enter. It is working fine. All right, that's a little fun with conditional formatting, five methods. We'll see you next video.